this video I am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables and in this video I am going to solve a problem most important problem and now I am going to show that the function f of x comma y is equal to x cube y minus x y cube plus x y plus x plus y can be the imaginary part of an analytic function of z is equal to x plus i y see here we have to show that so this is the imaginary part so first let us consider the given function the imaginary part v is equal to this is x cube y minus x y cube plus x y plus x plus y now i am going to differentiate with respect to x for one time so if i make a differentiation with respect to x then see for x cube this will be 3 x square y and for x this is 1 into y cube and for x this is 1 into y so for x 1 and with respect to x y will be 0 so this is dou v by dou x and again i am going to make a derivative with respect to y so v with respect to y for v it is 1 what remains x cube minus this is 3 y square x and for again y it is 1 so x into 1 and here this is 0 and for y it is 1 so i made the derivative with respect to x as well as y and now as you know that i am going to make a i am i am going to use milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method we have f of z is equal to see here f of uh, z is equal to this is u plus i into v so if i make a derivative with respect to x f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x plus i times of this is dou v by dou x now i have the imaginary part v here so i'll transform this real part u in terms of imaginary part for that i am going to use the cr equations according to the cr equations we have According to the CR equations, we have dou u by dou x is equal to this is dou v by dou y. So, I am going to use in place of dou u by dou x as dou v by dou y. And so, f dash of z becomes, so this is f dash of z. f dash of z becomes, this is dou v by dou y plus i times of this is dou v by dou x. So, we have dou v by dou x value here and uh, dou v by dou x value here so i am going to substitute so this is equation number one and this is equation number two so from one and two i'll substitute the values from one as well as two and i'm going to substitute the values therefore f dash of z value is equal to what is dou v by dou y see here dou v by dou y value is like this that is x cube minus 3xy square plus x plus 1 plus i times of what is dou v by dou x dou v by dou x value is like this that is 3x square 3x square y minus y cube plus y plus 1 see here after substituting so when we are using milnes thompson method we have to replace see here replace x by z and y by 0 so if i do so then f dash of z is equal to in place of x i have to write z in place so in place of y 0 and this is again z plus 1 plus i times of y 0 in place of y 0 this is 0 and what remains 1 remains so here we got f dash of z value as this is z cube plus z plus 1 plus i so this is i now see what i am going to do here so now this can be written as f dash of z is equal to this is z cube plus z plus 1 plus i now i am going to differentiate integrate both sides integrate on both sides with respect to z so this is integral dz now see after integrating this will become f of z is equal to for z cube so this is z power 4 by 4 and for z this is z square by 2 and integral 1 dz is nothing but z plus i times of integral dz is nothing but z now this is our analytic function so what we got we got analytic function
and we have to find out the real part now from this what you know z is equal to as you know that z is equal to this is x plus i y now i'll substitute f of z is equal to in place of z i'm writing that is x plus i y power 4 by 4 plus this is x plus i y square by 2 plus again this is x plus i y plus i times of z is nothing but x plus i y x plus i y so now f of z value is equal to see here f of z value is equal to this is x plus i y whole square whole square so this will be a square plus b square i square it is minus 1 and this is 2 x y i whole square by 4 and if i expand this is a square minus b square plus 2 a b i by 2 plus this one is x plus i y plus i times of this is x plus i y now i'll take 4 as lcm no even even i have to expand a square plus b square plus c square minus 2 ab minus 2 bc and plus 2 bc this is a minus b plus c whole square so this will be if i expand so this will be a square so this is b square so this is b square this is c square so i square minus this is 4 x square y square and next 2 ab this is minus 2 x square y square and this is minus minus 4 x this is y cube i and the next one here is 4 this is 4 x cube y i by 4 this is 4 and this value is nothing but this is x square minus y square plus 2 x y i by 2 and this is nothing but x plus i y plus i times of this is x plus i y. So if I take 4 as LCM see what happens here. So f of z is equal to so if I take 4 as LCM then see all these values that is x power 4 this is x power 4. And again this is y power 4 minus 4 x square y square minus 2 x square y square. And this is minus 4 x y cube i plus 4 x cube y i. And see this one I have to multiply with 2. So this will be 2 x square minus 2 y square plus 4 x y i. And again I have to multiply with 4. This is 4 x 4 y i. And again, if I multiply with 4, this is 4xi, i square, this is minus 4y, this is minus 4y. And now see here, I am separating uh, the real part and the imaginary part. And so, the real parts are x power 4, y power 4, 4x cube, x square, y square, and this is imaginary, imaginary. So, these are all the real parts. And see, the rest are the imaginary i imaginary parts so i am splitting these two so f of z value will be so see here f of z is equal to this is x power 4 plus y power 4 so this is nothing but minus 6 x square y square and see here this is 2 x square minus 2 y square plus 4 x and this is plus 4 y by 4 plus i times of see here so this value is minus 4xy cube plus 4x cube y and see here this is plus 4xy plus 4y plus 4x minus 4y. See here minus 4y. So this goes in real part. So this is minus 4x that's it divided by 4 now if you observe this one what is real part f of z is equal to f of z is equal to if you observe properly this is 1 by 4 times of this is x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 6x square y square plus 2x square minus 2y square plus 4x minus 4y and see if i cancel 4 if I take common 4 and cancel then this will be i times of minus so I'll start with this x cube y and this is minus x y cube 
and this is x y and this is y plus x see here if you observe this one so what is our imaginary part from the question see from the question what is our imaginary part so this is x cube y minus x y cube plus x y plus x plus y so i got the same thing so this is the v imaginary part and this will be the real part and as you know that f of z is equal to as you know that f of z is nothing but f of z is nothing but u plus iv and what is our real part here the real part will be so our real part is u is equal to 1 by 4 times of x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 6 x square y square this is minus plus 2 x square minus 2 y square plus 4 x minus 4 y and see what is our imaginary part here imaginary part is this that is x cube y minus x y cube plus x y plus y plus x and now what is our analytic function f of z just now I have shown you this is our analytic function that is z power 4 by 4 this is z power 4 by 4 plus z square by 2 plus z plus i times of z so this is how we have to get the real part imaginary part and the analytic function and let me show you this one so first of all what is given v is given the imaginary part is given first i made a derivative with respect to x and derivative with respect to y so according to the millis thomson method we have f of z is equal to u plus iv if i make a derivative with respect to x throughout the equation f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i times of dou v by dou x as the imaginary part is given i am transforming this u into imaginary part using cr equations as you know the dou u by dou x value is nothing but dou v by dou y so i am transforming in place of dou u by dou x as dou v by dou y so both the values are ready from equation 1 and 2 after substituting so if you are using emily thompson method we have to replace x by z and y by 0 so in place of z x as z and y as 0 so i got this function and after integrating on both sides see here if i integrate on both sides if i integrate on both sides this will be the analytic function so i want the real part u and the imaginary part v so as you know that z is equal to x plus iv if i substitute the same thing and split that is x plus iv whole square whole square so this is a a square plus b square plus 3ab whole square and after expanding and splitting all the real parts and the imaginary parts we got the final equation as this and this is real part and this is the imaginary part so this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end definitely you can solve by your own if you follow these videos and have a look at my next video too until then stay connected